Ever since we watched sci-fi villains zap heroes with lasers, we've been obsessed with the idea of real-life death rays. Lasers are the ultimate in cool, silent, precise and instant. No warning, no mess, just a pinpoint of destruction. For decades, militaries have dreamed of replacing brute force weapons with elegant beams of energy, but it always seemed just out of reach. Now the whispers are getting louder, especially from China, which is suddenly a major player in this high-tech arms race. Are Chinese death rays real battlefield threats, or just propaganda to spook the West? In the world of secret weapons, it's hard to tell bluff from breakthrough. Let's take a closer look at what's really going on. So, what exactly constitutes a laser weapon? What makes it different from other types of weaponry we are familiar with? Imagine a fire hose unleashing a torrent of water with incredible force. But instead of water, imagine it shoots a tightly focused beam of light, an invisible ray carrying immense energy. This is the fundamental concept behind a laser weapon. Unlike a light bulb scattered glow, which radiates in all directions, a laser's energy is concentrated into a single, coherent beam. This coherence is what allows it to travel long distances and deliver its energy with incredible precision and power. Inside the laser, a gain medium, which can be a crystal, gas or liquid, gets pumped with energy from an external source, like electricity or another laser. This energy excites the atoms in the gain medium, causing them to release photons, tiny packets of light that bounce back and forth between precisely aligned mirrors. As more and more photons are generated, they amplify each other, creating a chain reaction until they burst out through one of the mirrors as a highly focused and powerful beam. The result? Not a Hollywood explosion with fireballs and debris, but intense, often invisible, silent heat. This concentrated heat can melt metal in seconds, fry sensitive electronics with ease, or blind optical sensors and cameras in an instant, rendering them useless. Building one that's practical and reliable is a nightmare. You need a massive power source to drive the laser, an advanced cooling system to dissipate the tremendous heat generated, and a targeting system so precise it can track a bird in a storm or a missile traveling at supersonic speeds. That's why, despite being invented in the 1960s with the first working laser, practical laser weapons capable of deployment are only now emerging from the lab and entering the real world. The engineering challenge to create a battlefield-ready laser is immense, did I? But the payoff, a weapon with near instantaneous speed and potentially unlimited ammunition could change warfare forever. So, let's take a look at who's actually pulling it off and what challenges they're facing. China, a nation often shrouded in secrecy, particularly when it comes to its military advancements, has recently been making a point of showing off some of its latest technological developments. Specifically, some serious laser hardware that has the potential to reshape modern warfare. One notable example is their Silent Hunter system, a mobile laser platform which can reportedly burn through drones from miles away with pinpoint accuracy, showcasing its anti-drone capabilities. Furthermore, their warships now sport what appear to be megawatt-class laser cannons, hinting at a significant leap in naval defense technology. These advancements aren't just for show. China's strategic vision includes using these lasers to defend ships from incoming missiles, providing a crucial layer of protection against aerial threats, but the ambitions don't stop there. They also extend to potentially blinding enemy satellites, directly threatening the West's long-held technological edge in space-based assets. The innovation doesn't end with large-scale systems. There are even man-portable lasers being developed, such as the ZKZM-500, which has been heavily hyped as a revolutionary laser rifle, though the reality of its capabilities is likely less dramatic than the marketing suggests. Looking beyond the immediate headlines and public displays, China is also pouring significant resources into the development of space-based lasers as well as advanced anti-satellite technology, all in pursuit of achieving the ultimate high ground in future conflicts. Of course, it's important to remember that official specifications and performance claims are often exaggerated for propaganda purposes, but the sheer pace and scale of China's laser weapons development program is undeniable and deeply concerning for many. From tactical, truck-mounted laser systems designed for ground-based defense 
all the way up to strategic ship-based and space-based systems intended for broader power projection, China is clearly all in on the future of directed energy weapons and their potential applications. The world is watching these developments with keen interest, and many nations are now scrambling to understand and keep up with China's rapid advancements in this critical field. China isn't alone in the laser arms race, the US has been at it for decades. The US Navy's LAWS system shot down drones in 2014, and newer, more powerful lasers are being fitted to ships and vehicles. The American approach is steady and methodical, while China's is bold and fast. Russia claims its own laser trucks and airborne systems, though details are murky. Israel's Iron Beam and the UK's Dragonfire show that everyone with a serious military is in the game. The difference, China's scale and speed are closing the gap with the US at a startling rate. The global arms race is heating up and lasers are at the center. The question is, who will master them first? In the complex world of military technology, separating fact from fiction is a tough but necessary task. It requires careful analysis and a healthy dose of skepticism. All too often, media hype outpaces reality, creating sensational stories that don't quite hold up under scrutiny. We need to look beyond the headlines. That infamous laser rifle that captured so much attention is more likely a dazzler designed to temporarily impair vision than a true death ray capable of inflicting serious damage. The reality is that real battlefield lasers are big, power-hungry, requiring massive amounts of energy to operate effectively. And despite advancements, they are not yet the sci-fi weapons we often see in movies and video games. Systems like Silent Hunter designed for air defense and ship-mounted lasers intended to counter drones and small boats are very real. But their true capabilities, including their effective range and power, are closely guarded secrets known only to a select few. Reports of pilots being lased by Chinese forces, incidents where aircraft have been targeted by lasers, are confirmed. But whether these are deliberate tests of military-grade weapons or simply acts of mischief with commercially available lasers is currently unclear and under investigation. Perhaps the biggest unknown and the source of greatest speculation is space-based lasers. China's anti-satellite ambitions, its desire to develop technologies capable of disabling or destroying satellites, are very real and a cause for concern. However, operational orbital weapons, fully functional laser platforms in space, remain unproven and largely theoretical at this point. What's certain is that China is actively testing the building blocks, developing the component technologies necessary for such systems. But a true Death Star, a fully operational space-based laser weapon capable of destroying targets on Earth, is still many years away, if ever achievable. The truth, as always, lies somewhere between the sensational headlines and the highly classified files accessible only to those with the highest security clearances. For now, the threat is real and evolving, requiring constant vigilance and careful assessment. But it's not yet the stuff of science fiction, at least not entirely. Making lasers work in combat is brutally hard. Weather ruins beams. Fog, rain and dust scatter the energy, turning a death ray into a flashlight. Power demands are enormous. Only ships with huge generators can really support them. Waste heat is a nightmare. Cooling systems add bulk and complexity. Hitting fast-moving targets requires tracking and precision that push technology to its limits. And there are countermeasures, shiny coatings, spinning missiles and ablative armor can all blunt a laser's bite. For every new weapon, there's a new defense. Lasers are just the latest round in the endless arms race. The battlefield is a high-tech game of rock, paper, scissors. Um, are Chinese lasers about to change everything? Not quite, at least not yet. China's progress is real and their hardware is impressive, but the wildest claims are still fiction. The technical hurdles, power, cooling, targeting are immense for everyone. For now, lasers are niche, mostly defensive and best at zapping drones and small threats. But the Western monopoly on this tech is over. China is now a top-tier player, neck and neck with the US. The race for the ultimate battlefield laser is on and the future is being built right now. The silent, invisible war of beams is coming and it's closer than you think.